Thank you for joining us on Earth File. I am Ayola Kasim. Many young people like myself grew up hearing the federal government warns that smokers are liable to die young. But many smokers do not believe this. The question is, is smoking really bad for one's health? The scientists say yes, and the Nigerian government is taking this seriously. In 2011, the National Assembly passed National Tobacco Control Bill, and this year, the Lagos State House of Assembly passed the bill to prohibit smoking in public places. The two bills are awaiting ratification by the executive today. It is all about smoking, your health, and the environment right here on Earth File. The air we breathe in Nigeria is polluted. It is even more so with the poor state of electricity supply and the surge in the use of generators. Health complications in relation to air pollution is now more rampant than ever before. But what role is cigarette smoke playing in health complications? The world trend is uh, using the tobacco bill to dissuade tobacco smoking and to promote health. We now know that um, non-communicable disease that means diseases of the heart, diseases of cancer, diabetes, lung disease are the greatest killers of this century. And because of this, the WHO, that is the World Health Organization, in partnership with the United Nations organizations, have now gone ahead in encouraging countries to pass the tobacco bill. Smoking not only affects the smoker's health, it also greatly influences the surrounding atmosphere. Smoke and cigarette butts affect the environment the most, resulting into air, water and land pollution. Even the production of cigarettes influences the environment a lot. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, while cigarette smoke is not an obvious source of radiation exposure, it contains small amounts of radioactive materials which smokers bring into their lungs as they inhale. The radioactive particles lodge in the lung tissue and over time contribute a huge radiation dose. Radioactivity may be one of the key factors in lung cancer among smokers. Research has shown that smoking at an early age increases the risk of lung cancer for the youth, including teenagers who smoke. Doctors have disclosed that they suffer from shortness of breath almost three times as often as teens who don't smoke and produce phlegm more than twice as often as teens who don't smoke. In addition, they are more likely to have seen a doctor or other health professionals for an emotional or psychological complaint. Smoking is said to be accountable for the death of millions of people yearly. It causes heart disease, stroke, weak physical fitness, poor performance, and endurance, especially in sports. It is said that cigarettes contain more than 4,000 chemical compounds and at least 400 toxic substances. When it is inhaled, a cigarette burns at 700 degrees centigrade at the tip and around 60 degrees centigrade in the core. This heat breaks down the tobacco to produce various toxins. As a cigarette burns, the residues are concentrated towards the butt. The products that are most damaging are tar, a carcinogen, that is a substance that causes cancer, nicotine is addictive and increases cholesterol levels in your body, carbon monoxide reduces oxygen in the body components of the gas, and particulate phases cause chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder. We do know that uh, science have told us that there are more than, more than 1,000 agents that are contained in tobacco smoke, right from the from the cover the cover of the tobacco to the ingredients in it. Every aspect of it is poison. So we do know that there's nothing that is useful in tobacco cigarette. So the tobacco is a very dangerous element, and every part of it you can say that poisons the body. So nothing is useful there. And uh, we have also be able to say that the end result of damage to the body 
causes heart attacks, can also increase the blood pressure when it da damages the heart itself, uh, causes, damages the lungs to cause cancer, damages the lung to cause bronchitis, to cause infection of the lung. Even people with tuberculosis also aggravates it. Um, the effect also on the lungs is every persist part of the lungs is also damaged. And it also goes far ahead to say, even the, the pregnant woman who exposes herself to tobacco smoke, we know now know that even the children that are born from that, they have low weight. The fetus, the children that are born, they have low weight, and science study them fast to say even these children, they go far ahead to develop heart disease in future, they, they develop even uh, diabetes, to develop cancer. So you find that every aspect of tobacco is very dangerous. The damage caused by smoking is influenced by the number of cigarettes smoked, whether the cigarette has a filter, and how the tobacco has been prepared. The side stream smoke that comes off a cigarette between puffs carries a higher risk than directly inhaled smoke. Children who grow up in a home where one or both of their parents smoke have twice the risk of getting asthma and asthmatic bronchitis. They also have a higher risk of developing allergies. Infants under two years old are more prone to severe respiratory infections and cut death. For adults, passive smoking seems to increase the risk of lung cancer, but the evidence for an increased risk of heart disease is not yet conclusive. Basically, the medical and the environmental implication. That's why governments must legislate. We legislate to protect and provide good governance to the people. And the healthy people is a wealthy people. You understand? We don't wait till the back end when it becomes a big scourge that we now have to be treating cancer and all sorts of things at the back end. You understand? So we try and limit it. But notwithstanding, we're not telling people that want to smoke not to smoke. You understand? We are not saying don't smoke. We're just saying people that don't want to smoke should have a right not to be forced to smoke your own smoke. You understand? And thank God, during the public hearing, the representatives of the uh, tobacco manufacturing companies were there, the tobacco sellers were there, the hoteliers were there. And they agreed, according to them, records have shown that where you ban smoking in certain places does not reduce the number of people that smoke or the number of cities. So thank God their businesses will still continue to run. So the economic implication is very minimal according to their own report. And according to the report I also read in some of the reports I read online, there's a state in the U.S., I can't remember which state in particular, we did a survey. When some restaurants stopped smoking inside the restaurant, you can step outside and smoke, the sales went up by 1%. Because the people that smoke still came to the restaurant and they step out to do their smoking. And people that don't want the smoke now patronize those restaurants because there's no smoking going on inside. So, come say, come sir, it can still become... It, uh, it can improve businesses. At least they have said it is not going to kill their own business, which is fair. Also endangers the environment, and the people that are even around the smoker are also as much exposed as the smoker itself. Pollution caused due to smoking is not confined only to the air or body but to some extent it is also responsible in polluting the land and the water. Every day millions of cigarette butts are left on the ground. Maximum of the cigarette butts finally end up in lakes and rivers. By mistakes, fishes and other water animals eat these butts, resulting in death of these water bodies. The remaining butts left on the ground will approximately take 25 to 26 years to decompose. The various additives and chemicals are leached into the soil, polluting the soil as well as plants. During dry season, cigarette butts can even cause major fire, which is even harmful for the environment. Major impact on the environment is due to the production of the cigarettes. The land, which is used for the cultivation of tobacco plants, could be better used for producing food for the third world countries. Moreover, as the tobacco plant is highly susceptible to pests and diseases, so, to maintain their proper growth and health, various chemicals and pesticides are being sprayed. And the production and packaging of the cigarette requires a lot of trees. In an hour, cigarette manufacturing unit requires almost four miles of paper for rolling and packaging of the cigarette. Just to produce 300 cigarettes, one tree is being wasted. Energy, 
and water is also being wasted for the production of the cigarettes as well as the chemical waste from the manufacturing unit is also dumped into the soil. Environmental activists claim that with the use of more advanced technology, tobacco industry can help in decreasing the strain from the environment. But just to save billions of dollars profit by year, the industry is not willing to go for the advanced technology. And this has prompted them to hail the efforts of the Lagos State House of Assembly in the southwest Nigeria in passing the bill to prohibit the smoking in designated places and vehicles in the state on the 20th of January. Basically, the medical and the environmental implication. That's why governments must legislate. We legislate to protect and provide good governance to the people. And a healthy people is a wealthy people. You know, we don't wait till the back end when it becomes a big scourge that we now have to be treating cancer and all sorts of things at the back end. You understand? So we try and limit it. But notwithstanding, we're not telling people that want to smoke not to smoke. You understand? We are not saying don't smoke. We're just saying people that don't want to smoke should have a right not to be forced to smoke your own smoke. You understand? And thank God, during the public hearing, the representatives of the uh, tobacco manufacturing companies were there, the tobacco sellers were there, the hoteliers were there. And they agreed, according to them, records have shown that where you ban smoking in certain places does not reduce the number of people that smoke or the number of seasons. So thank God their businesses will still continue to run. So the economic implication is very minimal, according to their own report. And according to the report, I also read in some of the reports I read online, there's a state in the U.S., I can't remember which state in particular, we did a survey. When some restaurants stopped smoking inside the restaurant, you can step outside and smoke, the sales went up by 1%. Because the people that smoke still came to the restaurant, and they step out to do their smoking, and people that don't want the smoke now patronize those restaurants because there's no smoking going on inside. So, come say, come say, it can still become... It, uh, it can improve businesses. At least they have said it is not going to kill their own business, which is fair. The bill, which was sponsored by Golaon Yishawu, the lawmaker representing Etiosa constituency 2 of the House, places a fine of 10,000 naira or three months imprisonment or both for first-time offenders. It prohibits residents of the state from smoking in public places such as schools, daycare centers, libraries, museums, hospitals, public transport, restaurants, public toilets. It also mandates owners of public places to place signs with the inscription no smoking or symbols as part of enlightenment for smokers and will be violators of the law. Mm -hmm.